We decided to reach out to five artists from Los Angeles to decorate in any way they chose our Lino mug. And 100% of the proceeds from this series would be donated to two organizations in LA, Inner City Arts and Portraits of Hope. Not Neutral is celebrating our 20th anniversary in 2021. So this project was conceived as a way to celebrate that huge milestone for us. We wanted to do something that connected us you know, to the art community, to the design community in LA, and then also gave back to that community. We chose the mug out of the entire Lino Cup line for this artist series because the mug, more than anything else, is a symbol of, of home. We worked with Studio Number no. One, which is a creative agency headed by Shepard and Amanda Ferry. With Aaron Kai, who's a favorite around here, he just did a mural in our studio. And with Ed Massey, who is a founder of Portraits of Hope. Studio Number no. One is known for bold and iconic art art with a message. This is all inspired by our creative director, Shepard Ferry. We work in the worlds of art and music, activism, DIY culture. This sort of brings everything together for who we are and what we represent. For all art and all art forms, I think community is a big, a big deal. That's who you're selling your art to, that's who's appreciating your art, that's who you're making your art for is, is a community. And I think a lot of artists, young and old, can agree with me that it's all about community and I think that's why like a tool like social media kind of help a lot of young artists these days really bring their career up. I usually listen to a lot of music, and often jazz music, and even a piece like this that may have some resemblance of a horn section, perhaps of a jazz ensemble, and very similar to how the cup is, the coffee cup uh, uh, for No Neutral, is that it's very much flowing shapes, and uh, I very much enjoy color. Then we thought it'd be nice to invite ceramicists who might even be able to reinvent the mug to some degree. So we recreated the Lino mug in stoneware, which is not what we typically do, gave them to two incredibly talented LA-based ceramicists, Ben Medansky and Heather Levine, and just told them they could do whatever they want to. So each one will be different. They'll feel a little bit more like something I actually make. I'm uh, making contrast with a black glaze. So this will give that speckled look on the glaze that I couldn't achieve with the clay body. Creating a handmade glaze is such an involved process and it really, for an artist, it's a personal thing. You really never see a handmade glaze on a mass-produced cup, which is what I think is so amazing to be able to get the best of both worlds. And it's just such a dream to work with all of these artists and get their own special glazes on our cups. Yeah, it's been fun kind of figuring out what I like working on, what makes me happy, and what clients are looking for. Being able to donate to Inner City Arts is really special to me. My studio used to be across the street from Inner City Arts. We were amazed by the positive reception for the project. We were able to donate over $5,000 to Inner City Arts and Portraits of Hope. All of these artists work on very large mediums, whether 2D graphics or high-end fixtures, and to be able to get their work on a keepsake item is very special. It was an incredible way to set the tone for our 20th anniversary year in 2021.